Recommended book, Read People Like a Book, How to Analyze, Understand, and Predict People's Emotions, Thoughts, Intentions, and Behaviors, How to Be More Likable and Charismatic, Otter, Patrick King. Have you ever met someone who seemed to just have a natural gift for getting other people? They appear to be blessed with an instinctive understanding of how other people tick and why they behave as they do, to such an extent that they can often predict what they'll say or feel. These are the people who know how to talk so that others really hear them, or the people who can quickly detect when someone is lying or trying to manipulate them. Sometimes, such a person may perceive someone else's emotions and understand their motivations to a degree that even exceeds that person's insight into themselves. It can seem like a superpower. How do they do it? The truth is that this ability is not really anything mystical, but a skill like any other that can actually be learned and mastered. While some might call it emotional intelligence or simple social awareness, others may see it as more akin to what a clinical psychologist or psychiatrist may do when they conduct an intake interview with a new patient. On the other hand, you may see this skill as something that a seasoned FBI agent, private detective, or police officer may develop with experience. In this book, we're going to be looking closely at all the ways we can develop these skills in ourselves, without needing a psychology degree or any experience as a trained CIA interrogator. Reading and analyzing people is no doubt a valuable skill to have. We encounter and interact with other people constantly and need to cooperate with them if we hope to have successful, harmonious lives. When we know how to quickly and accurately analyze someone's character, behavior, and unspoken intentions, we can communicate more effectively and, to put it bluntly, get what we want. We can adjust the way we communicate to make sure we're really reaching our intended audience. We can spot when we are being deceived or influenced. We can also more easily comprehend even those people who are very different from us and who work from very different values. Whether you're trying to learn a little more about a person you've just met by snooping in their social media history or interviewing a new employee or trying to understand whether the mechanic is telling the truth about your car, reading people well is a priceless skill to have. It's crazy when you really think about it. Every person you ever meet is essentially a mystery to you. How can we really know what is going on inside their minds? What they're thinking, feeling, planning? How can we ever really understand what their behavior means, why they are motivated as they are, and even how they see and understand us? Another person's world is like a black box to us. All we have to go on are things outside of that black box the words they say, their facial expressions and body language, their actions, our past history with them, their physical appearance, the tone and quality of their voice, and so on. Before we go much further in our book, it's worth acknowledging this undeniable fact human beings are complex, living, changing organisms whose inner experience is essentially closed off inside of them. Though some might make claims otherwise, nobody can really state with any certainty that they know who somebody is completely. That said, we can certainly become better at reading the observable signs. Theory of mind is the term we use to describe the ability to think about other people's cognitive and emotional realities. It's the perfectly human desire to make a model about someone else's thoughts, feelings, and actions. And like any model, it's a simplification of the depth and complexity of the real person in front of us. Like any model, it has limitations and doesn't always perfectly explain reality. Our goal in learning to fine-tune our capacity to analyze people is to make best guesses. What we learn to do is gather as much high-quality data about a person as we can and analyze it intelligently. If we can input these small pieces of data into a robust and accurate model of human nature, or more than one model, the output we can obtain is a deeper understanding of the person. In the same way as an engineer can look at a complicated machine and infer its operation and intended function, we can learn to look at living, breathing human beings and analyze them to better understand the what, why, and how of their behavior. Well, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, where we will be uploading more videos of recommended books to read. If you liked this video, I invite you to give it a like and activate the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I upload more videos. Thank you.